A major update from Universal tonight after several people were sent to the hospital this weekend complaining of a shock at Volcano Bay. I felt prickles, tingles in my legs. For days, park officials have been very tight-lipped, issuing a brief statement blaming the scare on, quote, technical issues. Now tonight, they're opening up detailing exactly what happened and admitting there was an electrical issue. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. News 6's Troy Campbell is live at Universal Studios. And Troy, you spoke with a mom who says she felt the jolt. She said she, that she came here on Sunday with her family. They came to celebrate their daughter finishing middle school. They say they got here early to have a long day of fun, but they say that day it was cut short after she felt an electrical shock while she was in the water. I felt prickles, tingles in my legs. Wendy Lee says at about 930 Sunday morning while drifting in the lazy river at Universal Studios Volcano Bay, she heard lifeguards shouting to her in the distance. I said to him, what were those guys saying? And he said, you need to get out at the next exit. Lee says she saw a family in front of her climbing over a wall with a stranger also shouting to her to quickly get out of the water. And then all of a sudden I felt buzzing in my ear, in my head. Um, and then I immediately knew it was electricity. Lee says universal paramedics assessed her and administered an EKG because of her rapid heart rate. I, I'm just thankful because it could have been worse. I mean, obviously nobody was killed or electrocuted per se, but you don't know that when it's happening. Universal Studios told New 6 Sunday the park closed about seven hours after Lee says she experienced an electrical shock because of technical issues. Tonight, Universal is now saying the problem was specifically electrical, saying we know it is disturbing to feel any level of shock in a water park. The federal government agency OSHA also spent the day on site investigating what happened. I just I was just shocked that literally <laughs> that they left the park open and just endangered all these people because everybody knows that water and electric do not go good together. Universal also says several of their lifeguards were taken to the hospital complaining of similar symptoms that Lee had. They say parts of the park do remain closed while they continue testing. However, tonight they do believe the issue has been solved. Live outside Universal tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Troy, thank you. Break